Hello, um, this is a tutorial to show you how I did this, this painting. I already framed it because um, my wife took to it because it's it's um, based on our old dog who we lost last year. So um, she she's taken a, a liking to it, so it's already in the frame. So um, with this one, the, the horizon is really low down. Um, and it just gives that impression of of the viewer being really low down and looking up rather than looking down on the on the image. So you you get a lot of sky and only a little bit of land there, but the the figures' heads project above the horizon. So it just gives you that impression that you're really low down. And I think that that's what makes this one work. So I'm going with the the cheap pad. Again, again, really, really cheap paper. Um, doesn't need to be. Well, I, I don't find that I need to use expensive paper for this kind of painting. Um, don't use a, a great deal of water. So, start. And right. So, we'll start off at the page. Come to the horizon line. So I'm going to probably put the horizon line about there, about two inches up, two inches up from the bottom. Nice and shine, nice shine on the page, not too much water. There we go. Of yellow oak, just to give that nice warm glow behind. I'll just add a bit of crimson, a bit of crimson to that as well. to the page right now neutral tint neutral tone oh it's still wet to do its thing. That's the sky, We're done. I'll just tilt that water that way, a little bit too much water down the bottom edge there. Indigo. Do the tree line. trees misty in the distance so I'll put a few blobs up here to make it look like trees in the distance another tree over here Dry bit, dry brush. 
brush and just try and keep a little bit of white just at the top there between the trees, the wet and the dry. Just, and, uh, just have these little bits of light shining through and that's, it works quite nicely. Just to separate, separate the two. dry brush across here to make it look a bit snowy. A bit random, just do it a bit random, not too much because you want to you wanna keep it fairly light for the um, silhouette to, to contrast. There we go. I think let that dry. tint or Payne's grey if you've got Payne's grey. Um, so I'll pick a spot and we want, we want his head well above the horizon so about there. So I'll put a little blob for his head. A bit wet. A bit too wet that. So I was trying to figure out how the best way to explain how I do this and I think if we do it a little bit like a figure, like we've done on the previous ones, or a little snowman, draw like a little snowman. Little shape, like that. And then the staffy, our staffy used to sit with one leg out to one side. We used to sort of so he had a stiff leg and a stiff knee and he used to sit off to, with his leg off to one side like that. That's his tail. So then join his neck to his body. And stuff is a quite chunky. I always was. Um, and then the important bit Ears. And just work on the outline. It's a silhouette, so there's no detail to put in. There we are. person now just off in the distance. So another bit of um, neutral tint or um, Payne's grey. And I'll just have his head just below this one, off in the distance. arms just coming out to the side as if he's, as if he's shouting the, the dog to come to him. It's quite tiny so very delicate strokes here. Just give that impression. Um, so the final bit to add is um, a little bit of shadow. I think we'll do that in turquoise. A little bit of turquoise. And the snow. Lost his tail a bit there, but... Would be complete, would it? Without a little. Rub it 
there. And then what I think I'll just add is with my little secret weapon, a striper, a little striper brush. Some, some undergrowth in the foreground so you're in the side of it like this and then with the tip of it just flick up around him I think so he's, hiding, so he's hiding a little bit tail back. We'll have it a bit further over here. about it. Hope that um, that was okay and give that a go. You can always change that dog to any any dog you like remember so have one of these. <laughs>